A new amateur satellite has just gone up in the last couple of weeks. AO91, it's proved an instant sensation. Amateurs around the world are using handhelds to communicate over thousands of kilometres. And there's more going up in the next few months. In this video, I'll talk about getting onto AO91 and other simple FM satellites. If there's just one thing you take away from this video, it's this. Leave your handheld on 145.960 MHz for one or two days. Even if it's inside the house, you're almost certain to hear some signals from AO91. A bit of history. Amateur satellites have been around since the 1960s, first of all as beacons and then as repeaters. The early repeaters were all linear translators, that is, transmitting a slab of spectrum from one band to another, often from 2 to 10 metres or 2 metres to 70 centimetres. They typically required expensive equipment and antennas to operate through. More recently, we've had a profusion of low Earth orbiting FM satellites, basically orbiting FM repeaters. There are a few important differences. As the satellite is an orbiting repeater and not a fixed repeater, it's only available to a particular spot on Earth for a few minutes of the day. Each pass typically lasts about 10 minutes where you'll be able to make contacts within a range of three or 4,000 kilometers. Satellites are a moving target, and you need to know the difference between azimuth and elevation. Elevation is like this, or more precisely, towards the horizon, zero degrees, or straight up, 90 degrees. This is a low elevation pass, whereas this is a high elevation pass. If you're picking up a pass with a handheld transceiver at home, chances are it will be a high elevation one. Then there's azimuth. Azimuth is your directions of the compass. North, south, east and west. Or in degree terms, zero degrees, 90 degrees, 180 degrees, 270 degrees, and back to zero, or 360 degrees. You need to know that when you're looking at charts showing where the satellite is going to be. What do you need to set up on amateur satellites? A couple of VHF UHF handhelds. And I say a couple because it's much easier to do it with two than one. That gives you the certainty of hearing your own signal going through the satellite and knowing how well you're getting into it. Or if you're being swamped by other stations. VK5QI, VK3YE, 5 and 8, 5 and 8. Roger, thanks there Peter, that's excellent. Then you need something in the antenna department. The rubber ducky on your handheld won't be so good, particularly for receiving. Here's an example of a simple half-wave dipole antenna for two metres. Not the best satellite antenna, but definitely better than the rubber ducky on your handheld. Though later on, you will want to make up a small two or three element beam. To connect your handheld to a better antenna, you'll probably need a connector like this. Depending on the connections on your handheld, SMA male or female, to BNC. You can get these for a few dollars on eBay. The uplink is 435 megahertz. That's the frequency you need to transmit on. You need to set your transceiver to transmit a 67 hertz tone to get into the satellite. The downlink is 145 megahertz. That's the frequency you need to listen on. The mode is narrowband analog FM, like you'd use with an FM repeater. How do you know that a satellite's overhead and workable for you? In the past, you needed computer programs or even manual paper calculations. Now, you can just look it up on the AMSAT website. 
you just need to put in your latitude, longitude or your grid square and it will tell you the next few satellite passes. The first thing I suggest is looking up a few times for passes and having listened to them, whether it be on your mobile two meter rig, your home two meter rig, or a handheld. 145.960 is the frequency. Leave your handheld on for a few days at home and with any luck, you'll hear voices. Thanks Mary. Portable with a one watt handheld, 73. Brilliant, well done. VK5 Quebec India portable. VK5 QI, VK3 by E, 5 and 8, 5 and 8. Roger, thanks there Peter, that's excellent. Also great to hear ZLs on this, on this satellite as well. This has been our quick look at amateur satellites. First of all, get your handheld, program 145.960 MHz, leave it around and see what you hear in the next day or so. Secondly, have a listen for amateur satellite activity, experimenting with better receive antennas. Thirdly, try and make some contacts. Then, later on, you can try other amateur satellites and more advanced birds as your expertise and station develops.